Greetings, welcome back to the outer world. That's what well, how I'm gonna distribute my points. It's maybe extremely, extremely wrong. What most important to you and your companions do bonus damage with science weapons. I might add some health to him. And Sam, we already have some more. Yeah, I'll add you some more ranged weapon damage. Okay, you have a luckily double click jump when we first to wait for Oh, nice. Okay. Hello Celia. Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Hello. Greetings. And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? Let's see, what was that exchange about? Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on erupted on acid. Why? Do normal blue money on erupted on parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Okay, what are you bringing so much from Sebastian? I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I could buy it off of you. Oh, maybe I can talk to him for you. you? Yeah, sure. So much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia. And she seemed... Oh. Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Yeah, you better go back to work. But what do you see, Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. There's probably nothing in his mind. Legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Okay. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. There are other fish in the sea. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like salt tuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. Really? Okay. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Kinda. Oh, we'll talk to you later. Wait. We still need to talk, right? What did he say? Mm, Grim asked me to check with you about his toast book poster. Sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But okay. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Anything else? No, we need to get out of here. Get all get the way around. It should be somewhere on the other side of the sparikite, god damn it. Well, Sam probably could have made it. I think. Or I can just go through here. Where the hell am I? <laughs> exactly. Well, getting closer. Hello, Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Hello. Catherine should shoot show you in a box if you can find it uh, here. Yep, like that. No. Um, take it easy. Uh, what are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This you can try. Been running me ragged lately. First, my auto loader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief, what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. He'll come back eventually. 
I can't keep working double shifts either. Mm. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Hmm, I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? I guess. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer too. So it's about the money, as always. Yeah, right it is. You still have the poster, right? Staying locked up in my office until okay. The shows with her money. You were just giving him poster writing. No, mm. I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. We, I'm sure we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. How much more? Oh, like, well, I, I can pursue, pursue. Work with me. Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about. The oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Ah. Fine by me. Okay, mm what's uh, this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to God for you. Around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. Mm, I don't know about that. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. Hmm. Okay, you said Braxton have been stealing drugs. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. <laughs> okay, as you wish. Let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Awfully nice of you not to say anything, really. Not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. Mm hmm. Who's this capturing you mentioned before I came in? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Okay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. I guess I'll talk to you later. Now. Let's go. No. Are we gonna get lost? No. <laughs> Here? Up there. Definitely not in here. God damn it! Sam! God damn it! Really? Don't do shit like that! Oh, up here. Okie dokie. Here we go. God damn it! I don't have enough personal files. Uh, let's hack it. Hacked me. Hacks on hedge files are filled with sultan and breeding charts, various pharmaco pharmacological formulae. Okay, no, nothing interesting. The fish in tank 23 are looking at the lumpy. If you're not going to make it in, that's fine, but you have to let me know so I can stay on top of the doses. We really need to talk about the Sultuna situation. I've had to let four batches rot in the warehouse over the last two months because we are not finding buyers. I know the situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we are going to keep Stella Bay afloat if we can get sales up. Seriously, where are you? You've missed three shifts. This is getting ridiculous, even for you. Eh. 
I don't think I need any more armor parts. Okay, let's get out of here. Ew. It's not getting better. Should I might do it. I do this. Hello, Nell. Ooh, you're the new face. Yes. Wow, must be up on all the latest tossball games. No. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No. Glacial Age Man. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. Why can I not lie? Uh, I'm not here about to chat about teams though. That's a shame. Tossball's just about the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too clogged up anyway. So, what can I do for you? Let's see, Velma tells me you out the cream for a signed Tosbo poster. Mm. You said you were having trouble seeing the Tosbo game transmissions. Yeah, that's not like Graham's it. always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the Tosbo games get to us in fragments. Oh. Makes them real hard to watch. Hmm, okay, let's so talk about that bit. Himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Grim works for MSI Security. Be a real shame if we do extra interest in your business here. Could I trade you for it? I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine tossball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore, he just puts a stamp on them. Of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official tossball jerseys. I was gonna line the walls with them. They're the new ones, now with authentic game time aroma. Authentic? What? Of course not. No, authentic means close enough to be the real thing, but not actually the real okay. thing. Okay. Everyone knows that. I don't. Anyway, I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, I might let Grim have that poster. I'll try. Actually, I think... Did I find it? Eh? Really? Wait, let me just take a sniff. Oh yeah. When did I find it? Just let it waft right into your nostrils. That's the smell of pure, unfiltered sportsmanship, baby. Tell Velma that Grim can keep his poster. I've got all I need right here. What can I do for you? Nothing, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Now back to Velma. How the hell am I gonna get back there? Okay, for here? Definitely not for he here. Okay, so around right here. Mom, I believe in you, thank you. Okay, Velma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Yeah, yeah, I know. And let's talk about the green poster. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Um Nell's no longer interested in the poster. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take the poster then. Thank you. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? No, I, think I believe that's all. Thank you. Okay, now what do we have? Check. The Grim tomorrow. I thought there were two markings again. For whatever reason. I don't know. Oh, that's so pretty! It's creating clouds! There's another one! And there's another one! Oh, that's so pretty! Okay, but, but back here. Back here. Out this way. Right, and green should be somewhere around. Somewhere. Here. Hi, I have a poster. You had time to check on that poster yet? Yes. I keep wondering if it's come in. Give him the poster. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. 
I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. Thank you. Know you. Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Nice. Now, what do we have? Not that. No, 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 no. So I think like Sebastian, yeah. Where is he? There. The Act Club? No. Somewhere around here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? No, thank you. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Let's... No, let's talk about Celia. Why would I want any of that? I don't know. Let's start Celia that. usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. That's because she likes you, dummy. Nice of you to say. I like her too. She is interested in you romantically. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount. Hmm? Don't get me wrong. Can I, I kick like him in the ass? She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptid on tongues. Don't take my word for it. Spend some more time for it. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Great. Now, uh, Celia, I've got you a date. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? Yes. What did he say? Mm, he said he'll go on a date with you. Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. He likes you, just tell him, ask him for any discounts. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now, <laughs> anything else and spice? That doesn't hurt to yeah, let's go for that one, I guess. Somewhere around there? Not inside, I wager. Maybe. God damn it. Definitely not in here, but this is the way out. Yeah, it's definitely outside. God damn it. Open up. Thank you. Ah. That looks suspicious. Yeah. Okay, we gonna see what's down there. Oh, okay. Nothing really interesting. How can I get back up? Oh. Oh. Fine, I guess. Oh, don't do that, please. Now, what do we have here? Okay, this is a fa faction quest, nice. Okay, but back through here, please, please cooperate. Luckily, she's somewhere near. Well, did I just talk to her? No? Oh my god, okay. The secret people. Is there someone new? Looks like it. We don't want to get out of the city just yet. Up here. I'm looking for Braxton. Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Hmm. Relax. Oh, I didn't see this last one. 
He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Hmm, that's all I needed. Thank you. If you let your Sam unit be eaten by wildlife, it voids the warranty. Of course it does. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> I don't wanna steal with someone. Are you frightened about I something? What? Are you right? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. Yo. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Lower one. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Lower one on the right. Okay, okay. What a gruesome way to die. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace sack reel before disposing of any corpses. Hmm. Of course I'm gonna pick everything up. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field tossball betting. Oh, god damn it. Nose? Several wrecked outfits, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase, but that's a bag. Okay, it's somewhere over there, because it's not in this building, it's out of the city? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it is, okay. Herrick's handiwork, where is it? Somewhere there. Okay, okay. It's inside at all. What are the chances? Oh, is this times and places we could have been born? Yeah, we're here. Light years from Earth. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hello, new face, huh? You from off world? I guess. Yeah, Captain Hawthorn. Ship captain. Yes, I'll be here. Let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? Are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. Mm. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. What could be so bad make you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor Velma goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. We need to talk about Velma. What, what did you want to discuss? Ooh. How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Any suggestion how far to put pressure on Velma to negotiate? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. Mm, I doubt that. To blackmail her. We're about that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What's this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward deal. Mm. No, but well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know. But if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Okay. We'll talk later. I guess we're gonna end this part here. What do you want to Okay. 
Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon!